Castile Blonde. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Got this one from beersofeurope.co.uk. It is a blonde beer from the Van Huysenbroek or Van Honsenbroek brewery in West Flanders in Belgium, and it's marketed under the name Castile. The name comes from the brewery, which is an old Clark castle. That's uh, in West Flanders. I think the was it the British or the Spanish burnt it down in the 1600s, and they rebuilt it. And this brewery bought it and burned down again in 2001, and they rebuilt it. And they do some good beers. This Van Honsenbroek. They do the Bacchus Creek, which is available in Morrison's if you get a chance. It's only two pound fifty. It is a really good cherry or la- uh, Creek lambic beer really worth trying out, I recommend that, I've reviewed it on the channel, look it up, really good. Anyway, this one is, uh, they do quite a few this under this Castile name, and this is their blonde effort, and it's, um, it's a little dumpy bottle. So, what is in the bottle? For your money, you get 33 centilitres or 330 mil, which is basically about uh, half a pint. It is seven percent, so you got to treat this with a little bit of respect. And uh, there's a bit of gum from the side about you know the Van Honsenbroek Castile Castile Brewery. That's the name of the brewery is Castile, but it's the Van Honsenbroek family that run it. They go back generations. They're an independent brewery, which is good. Um, it is uh, yeah. It contains the usual um, ingredients. Um, I've been told that it's, uh, what has it got? Water, barley malt, malt, barley malt. Oh, for fuck's sake. I always sound like a dickhead when I'm reading off the side of a bowl. I'm not really. Ingredients of water, barley malt, sugar, mmm, hop, hop, not hops, hop. Is that a command or is it an ingredient? Uh, spices and yeast. Now, they've appeared to have added spice into that, which... Okay, yeah. Belgian beers are normally spicy, and the sugar as well. Which oh, I don't know. I just I, just, I have a big downer on breweries that add sugar to their beer. I just I just think if you can't get it right with the four main ingredients, you know, what are you adding sugar for? Anyway, that's by the by. Um, let's have a look at the cap. There it is. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Castile 7, there is the front of the label, there is the back, pause that now if you want to see the ingredients, and there's a little bit about the brewery there, all in Flemish, if you can understand Flemish, fill your boots, if you can't, you can look at it as dumbfounded as I did. Let's get it open, let's get the aromas. Right, in the bottle, what are we getting? Not, oh, hang on. Mmm, getting some pepper and spice from that. That's the first thing that comes out. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Typical Belgian. And it does smell like a, a blonde. It reminded me of the Leffer stuff. Sweet, sweet. Yeast, I think that is, that's, that's giving it that smell. Obviously, there's sugar in it as well, but you can smell that spice. That's really strong. Unmistakably Belgian. You wouldn't mistake this for any other style of beer. And they call this an Abbey beer, but um, you can argue the toss about that. But that does smell like a typical B. 
Belgian spiced blonde beer. Now, this is supposed to go in a tulip glass, but all I've got is this Iinga effort. So I'm going to drink it out of this. I drank something out of this before, and I remember saying this is a shit glass, but let's get it in there, see what's going on. Reminds me of the triple Carmelite. If you've ever had that, it's got that spicy, peppery, coriander type aroma to it. Now in the glass, there it is in the glass. You see that, that is quite hazy. This, see this is what I mean with this glass. It, do, it doesn't even hold half a fucking pint. I wanted to get the whole lot in there. And here it is in the glass. Oh, do you know what? Just wait there a sec. I'm gonna pour this into my chalice. I'm gonna pour this into my chalice because that is just nonsense. Oh fucking hell. And here it goes, all over my strides. I'm never using this glass again. <clears throat> that is a pile of Scheisen, as they say in Germany. And now I've got fucking Belgian beer all over the table. Right, let's get the rest of it in there. Let's give it a little bit of a shake, see if there's any yeast at the bottom. There it is in the glass. Lovely, hazy, golden colour. Little head on that, didn't expect much because you've got the big alcohol in there on the nose. Oh yeah, more of them Belgian spices. Huge. It smells good. Let's get it down the hatch. Oh, that's so good. Very sweet. Obviously that's come from the sugar. There's a lot of banana. There's a lot of clove on that as well. Wasn't getting that in the aroma at all. But it's very much like a Vic beer. Them sort of spices that you'd get from a Belgian Vic. The mouthfeel is quite, um, there's a lot, <coughs> lot of carbonation in that. That's pushing it around the mouth a little bit. It's lovely, it's really smooth. Banana, clove, spice, a little bit of pepper. And um, I'd say a little bit of coriander on that as well. Getting some nice malt from that as well, like a sweet malt. I'm not sure whether that's just a base malt and the sugar's giving it the sweetness, but it works. And in one of the descriptions I saw, it said this was dangerously drinkable. And do you know what? It is. This is going down really well. I've caned that already. Oh. And it's 7%. I was expecting more spirit alcohol, but I'm not getting that at all. This is a really well balanced blonde beer. <clears throat> Comparing this to Leffa, this is much more drinkable. It's much more flavoursome as well. You've got, as I say, you've got them big spices, you've got the big banana and clove esters that are coming off the yeast. And overall, it's just giving you a really drinkable blonde beer from Belgium and I really like that and if I'm not mistaken I'm just looking here I th yeah there is there's little tiny bits of yeast in there really good really like that so what is the verdict well I bought this not knowing what to expect. I saw it was from the Van Honsenbroek Brewery and everything I've tried from them has been good. I was really impressed with their Frambos and their um, Creek, their La Creek Lambic and I thought I'd give this a go and I am not disappointed. I'll tell you something, that is really nice. 
and it's dangerously drinkable. And I would give that a mark of eight and a half out of ten. And I would say, if you can get hold of this, this is lovely. This is really nice, really drinkable, real nice mouthfeel, real big flavours on it. And it's just perfectly balanced. So yeah, eight and a half. And no, in fact, I'll give, I'm going to give it a nine. I will give that a nine out of ten. That's one of the best Belgian blondes I've tried. It shits all over Leffer, really does. Much more drinkable, more agreeable flavours, much smoother. Really good. Well done, Van Honsenbroek. That's a winner from you. And remember, beer is working class, champagne.